Chicken, 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 that's right. What is going on YouTube? It is your boy Chick Hennessy back with another fucking video. In today's video, we are doing a special series called Hidden Gems, and we are starting off with Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, the game complete edition. Enjoy. All right, all right, all right. So, Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. First of all, before I even get into this, fun fact. Did you know that the 10th anniversary since Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, the movie, is coming up this August? 10th anniversary, dude. Feel old yet? I don't. I'm forever young, baby. Yeah! Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, the game, the video game, complete edition to be exact. I know, I happen to know that this game came out a little while ago, maybe, maybe even over 10 years ago to be honest, even though it's the 10th anniversary of the movie. I think the, the game came out before the movie. I don't know, maybe I should check out the facts properly, but like, I think the game came out like a while ago and then they re-released it for PS and Nintendo. So if you do have, uh, Nintendo you can get it, if you've got PlayStation you can get it, if you're on Xbox I don't think you can get it, I think you're on the losing side, but you've been on the losing side if you're on Xbox, but that's another video, but anyway, so you can play from about six different characters from the Scott Pilgrim universe with the potential at any point of gameplay to select from three difficulty stages, being Average Joe, Rough and Tough and Supreme Master. Now obviously your boy has mastered all three of these, but for the sake of the Hidden Gem series, I thought it was only best to show gameplay of Average Joe. I wouldn't want to overwhelm anyone out there, you know? It's a beat em up side scroller, so of course it's reminiscent of its predecessors like Final Fight, Double Dragon and Streets of Rage, but this feels a lot more fleshed out than them games did. It's funny because upon starting the game you assume that it's going to be easy, but that assumption soon makes an ass of you because it's way more difficult than it looks. Don't get me wrong, it's no Souls game or anything, but please believe no matter how far you get into an area, if you die, you'll start that motherfucker again. Sometimes it can be very frustrating, but I'd say I'm used to it thanks to the Bloodborne, Dark Souls and Demon Souls series. At this point, I think I might just be a glutton for punishment. You can tell the creator was inspired by Super Mario World from the map level selection layout. This sense of familiarity makes you feel even more comfortable with this game and is a really nice touch. It's really enjoyable the way you slowly build up your character and you're able to unlock moves the stronger you get. I'd find myself having to look at the move list from time to time, but this soon becomes second nature, so I wouldn't worry about it too much. The battle system isn't the best, but it works for this kind of game. Sometimes I'd find I could cheese bosses or really difficult opponents just by getting them caught in a fight move loop. <coughs> just like my little brother <coughs> in Tekken vs Street Fighter. <coughs> Now, as much of a skilled gamer that I am, this was kind of funny at times, but I'll definitely recommend it, because why not try and save those hit points? Why not try and cut a few corners here and there? Fun fact number two. Did you know that the genre of music given to old school game soundtracks are called chiptune? Chiptune, also known as chip music, is a style of synthesized electronic music made using the programmable sound generator, or PSG in some terms, sound chips or synthesizers in vintage arcade machines, computers and video game consoles. And that fun fact brings me to my next point. The soundtrack is pretty awesome. They are chip tune renditions of what sounds like jams by Scott Pilgrim's band and I'm here for it all. I think one thing I love about this is the fact you don't have to take it too seriously. It's pretty light hearted so it caters to the player depending on what experience you're after. If you want something quick and easy you hop on and play for a short time. If you want something challenging you hop on and play for a longer time with a higher difficulty. Be warned though, not all can be as skilled as your boy. There's still a couple of things I've yet to check out. There's extra game modes like Boss Rush, Survival Horror, Battle Royale and Dodgeball and there's even a network game which I, I presume you can just kind of link up with your friends and kind of play which is kind of cool. They have a leaderboard system but I don't think it works because every time I go on it it just goes blank and it's not that impressive. There's also Ubisoft Connect, but I think that got discontinued a couple a little while ago. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. I could I need to really fact check my stuff a bit more. But yeah man, that's uh part one of the Hidden Gem series, Scott Pilgrim vs the World. I hope you uh liked my little insightful things that I had to say about it. And yeah, we'll be back soon with even more content. Stay tuned and big up yourselves. Yeah! Bye, have a beautiful time.